In a vast desert landscape, dust swirls as a convoy of armored vehicles rumbles forward. Their objective? Transporting valuable resources and personnel to a nearby base. The wind carries a faint buzzing sound, growing louder with each passing second. From behind the dunes, small dots appear against the azure sky. Homemade drones. Their wings are strapped with deadly RPG warheads, controlled by enemies hidden from sight. Their intent? Chaos. One by one, these kamikaze bombers, jury-rigged by ISIS, swoop down on the convoy. There's an urgency, a looming danger. Suddenly, amidst the large armored trucks, a rugged all-terrain vehicle stands out. The Polaris MRZR, a dune buggy, not just any dune buggy, it carries the hope of the entire convoy. Mounted on it is a sleek, sophisticated machine that gleams under the desert sun, Raytheon's High Energy Laser, or HEL. As the drones approach, the HEL springs to life, its sensors scanning the skies. Basically, we're putting a laser on a dune buggy to knock drones out of the sky, Dr. Ben Allison had once described and that's precisely what it was about to do. A laser beam, precise and intense, shoots out from the buggy. One drone combusts, then another and another. Each shot is calculated, efficient and without waste. The humming of the drones starts to diminish. The convoy, once sitting ducks to the airborne threat, now has a fighting chance. ISIS's improvised drone warfare has taken many lives. Grenades dropped unsuspectingly on troops, makeshift kamikaze bombers that wreaked havoc, resulting in more than a dozen killed and over 50 injured. Coalition forces had tried everything, shooting drones with rifles, even using a whopping $3 million Patriot missile to take down a simple $200 store-bought quadcopter. The financial imbalance was clear. Inspired by this glaring mismatch, Raytheon's leadership envisioned a solution. Efficient, portable, and deadly accurate. HEL was birthed out of a necessity to counter an asymmetrical threat. Raytheon's tech maestros had initially considered mounting this high-energy laser on a massive military container. But as they delved deeper into its design, it became clear. The laser's compact size made it highly portable. At its heart was the MTS sensor. It was the eyes of the laser directing the beam, detecting and tracking targets. If you have a good beam director, then you can use a smaller, more efficient laser, Dr. Allison had explained. Back at the convoy, the Polaris MRZR with its mounted laser had proven its worth. Drones fell from the sky, one after the other. The system wasn't just effective stationary, there were plans to make it operable on the move. But while this battle may have been won, the war was ever evolving. Intelligence suggested that future conflicts might see swarms of small drones overwhelming defenses. But with a system that could potentially fire an infinite number of times, the threat of these drone swarms seemed manageable. Still, it was crucial to always be ahead. The threat is very resilient and well-resourced, and we have to be looking one or two moves ahead to defeat it," J.D. Johnson, the head of Raytheon's army programs, had emphasized. And he was right. Earlier this year, a drone swarm attack had occurred. Thirteen homemade drones descended upon two Russian bases in Syria. It was a global threat, not just confined to the battlefields of Iraq and Syria. U.S. Army Lieutenant General Michael Shields had warned of its global implications. As the dust settled and the convoy moved on, the world was changing. Threats were evolving. But with innovations like Raytheon's high-energy laser, so too were the solutions. Onward to a safer tomorrow.